going to look at a short demo that talks about the various design time gestures that are available in BW6, which really makes the whole development process um, simpler and faster. So we're going to look at four basic design time gestures that um, any BW developer should really be able to use. It's things like right-clicking and adding activities, about dragging um, on the drag to create new activity gadget to create new activities and, and to look at the two types of click and drop sort of gestures that we support so without further ado let's let's look at what that means i have here a simple process um, and i want to add an activity the simplest way of doing that is to right click and choose the add resource so i'm going to select let's say a very simple timer all right great now I have a timer. The second way to add an activity into a process, let me demonstrate that by dragging on this little gadget. I'm going to drag on this and it asks me to add another activity at the end of the transition. So I'm going to again, let's say, do a sleep activity here. Great. So you got you have seen two ways of adding activities. Now what I want to uh, look at is a third way, which is to click um, and click on an activity and point where you want it to be dropped. So I'm going to look at, let's say, the FTP palette. Um, let's say I just want to do an FTP get. I click on the activity. I come back into the process diagram um, and I select where I want it to be got. So um, it's again, I, am, I can connect them with this connector. So I'm going to use this and link up the activity and I've got a very simple way of clicking and dropping activities. Um, now, if I want, let's say there are three activities and um, let's just say I forgot to add one activity in between uh, the second and the third one. Uh, let me show you the fourth way of adding an activity. Let's just say I want to do a um, external command. So I'm going to select that by clicking on the activity and I'm going to come back to the process, point on the transition where you want this activity to be to be added and just click there there you go you got the fourth way of adding an activity which is to click and point to the transition where you want it to be um, uh, dropped so we've seen four basic ways of doing this um, of, of, of gestures that any bw developer should be should know so that development is faster um, and simpler now let's look at a few of the advanced gestures. Um, the advanced gestures, there are four gestures that I want to talk about today. It's dragging and dropping files from the Explorer, um, visdils from the Project Explorer, XML elements from the Project Explorer, and finally to create EARs by dragging and dropping back into the File Explorer. So I'm going to go back here. I've got a project, um, I've got a File Explorer right here um, on the the bottom portion of my window and I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna create let's say a I'm gonna poll for a file so the way I do it is I drag the file onto the process canvas and BW prompts for the various actions that are possible I'm gonna do a file polar activity the file polar activity automatically configures the file that it needs to poll and is ready for development I could also import things like XML schemas. So I have a schema here, um, which I'm going to drag into the schemas folder. It's as simple as that to import a schema. And now I have the various XML elements and types defined right there. Um, I'm also able to drag and drop services um, described by pistols. Um, and once I drag and drop a service, I could drag the port um, into the process definition and prompts me for um, whether I have to create a service, whether I have to implement an operation um, or, um, or or really implement constructor. So um, it's very simple. I'm going to implement an operation and it, it, it creates a stub that um, is required. Now, um, similarly, I could also drag and drop elements um, I'm, I'm dragging and dropping an element from the project explorer and it prompts me for what are the various options of 
using that particular XML element, whether to parse XML or render XML. Uh, and I could I could really use this gesture to add activities, XML parsing activities uh, that are really helpful as you build out the process. Now, the final but um, most powerful gesture would be to actually see how you could generate an EAR file by clicking on the application. Remember, there are again modules and applications. I could click on the application and I could really drag it into the file explorer. Um, and if the project doesn't have any errors, you're able to build the deployment artifact just like that. So hopefully you've seen um, the basic and advanced gestures and these um, are, are really super simple to um, get, start using and hopefully it, it helps your productivity um, uh, by it, it boosts your productivity a bit that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.